What's up, creeps? I'm Exorcist. And I'm Boo. And we are Skurg. And we are excited. Very excited. It's not part of the website, but that's how we feel right now. Uh, pretty excited. We just got done with the Blackwell Ghost number five. It's been a long time coming. Uh, we waited an entire day before we watched the fifth one because uh, we watched one, two, three, and four all in the same day. Which should tell you something about the quality. Uh, but it got late. I got sleepy. That's usually not the case. I'm usually the last one to go down. And I'm usually the first one out she, on the couch. Yeah. She's sleeping. out. I'm awake going. She's not even going to know what happened. Uh, but this time I got sleepy and I had to, I had to tap out. Uh, so we waited until next night to watch Blackwell Ghost. And it was good. I'm glad that we did that. It gave our minds a little bit of a rest. I think we could step back a little bit and uh, kind of think about one through four, uh, reflect uh, before we jumped into number five. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the overall plot for number five. So this can get spoilery real quick. If you've not seen number four, go for a minute. <laughs> Just... uh, and it's really not that big of a spoiler. It's, I won't even call it a spoiler, in fact. Um, but what we're talking about is uh, there was something that was found at the end of the fourth installment that we said would change the course of number five. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, he was actually able to locate a body which had a bottle which had a map. And all of these things are locations that would lead to more bodies uh, from the Lightfoot serial killer and pretty big details. Now, our main character, he's been in all of the Blackwell Ghost uh, documentaries. He is really changing his tone uh, in number five. He went from, you know, number four, I'm an investigator, blah, blah, blah to number five. Uh, the police call him and they're like, dude, we need your help. But... He's not allowed to help because it's classified information. So there's a little bit of wheeling and dealing, and then there's a point where they go, okay, well, he actually solved uh, the end of number four and found that body. This guy knows what he's looking for. He understands this house, and there's something deeper, a bigger connection with it. Uh, so come on back down and help us out. And he agrees to do it. Uh, so we still have some crazy stuff going on in the house, and the damn hallway is worse. It's worse than it's ever been. There's a lot going on in the hallway. But there were some other creepy environmental stuff, uh, different things that we saw going on as well. Yeah, absolutely. Share a couple. I mean, there was, you know, he went out one day, like, and he came back later at night. It wasn't completely dark, but the sun was setting, and the light in the bathroom is on. And let me just tell you, like, a little, little bit of information here. There's a closet and a bathroom, if you haven't seen the movie, and they share the same wall. And things start going on in both the closet and the bathroom. So. Yeah, and, and in a parallel, there was something that we saw in the original Blackwell Ghost, which again, one and two are mm, not really outside of the person in them connected. Uh, there was something that was kind of connected to the first ones. What was that? Running water. The mm -hmm. water faucets would just turn on and he'd have to go shut them off. And he even, in this one, referenced the first two. He was like, I haven't seen this since the other house. This is exciting. Yeah. So it's kind of weird. Uh, I think that there's some common paranormal knowledge. We watch enough ghost adventures where water can be a conduit to the supernatural uh, so I don't know if that's what they're playing or if they're going to somehow try to connect these uh, series together in the Blackwell Ghost 6 or 7 or 8 or however many there's going to be. There's going to be a bunch. I have Watch a them all. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll get them. So uh, let's talk about scares. I particularly liked one scare in this one. Uh, it stood out above all of the other ones and... Um, I was in on it, so I thought it was actually really funny. I convinced Mom to sneak out the back door and bang on the window 
much to my surprise, the kids went, actually, see the footage. Roll clip. Okay. So it was a terrible dad thing to do, and I'm honest when I say I'm really not in the business of scaring these guys uh, when we're watching scary movies. I used to hate it when I was a kid. I would watch something, and so would be like, oh, I get really upset. So I really try not to do that to these guys. The knocking, though, through three episodes was just too much. I couldn't ignore it. I had the opportunity, and I had to take it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I appreciate your apology. Even just reliving that through the clip made me chuckle because I was actually scared, and my little brother was sitting on my lap, and he was just, like, sucked into the movie. We were both sucked into the movie, and... When you're that sucked in and you're, you know, hearing knocking on walls from the movie, when that happens in your environment, you're terrified. Yeah, it becomes a relatable scare. So, uh, pretty funny. And, <laughs> and, okay, one more time. <laughs> ah, it's good stuff. Okay, so, uh, now we made it through the, the joke scare. There were some good scares uh, in, in this one we saw. You know, things opening like we've never seen before. Uh, there's some more environmental interactions, stuff being thrown around uh, into the hallways. Right. There, I think that my biggest scare factor was the stupid phone call at 2.47. Yeah, because they've intensified from f uh, 3 until now. They're a little bit louder. They're a little bit more dramatic. And by the fifth one, we can actually hear female screaming is yeah. what it sounds like. It becomes pretty distinguishable as, as a female in quite a bit of distress. Uh, so it's pretty scary. It's unnerving. Uh, but cool. At the same time, uh, you know, it, it's consistent, but it stays consistently scary. Uh, and overall, I think it was pretty good. Um, the ending, I was actually... <sighs> Can I say this on, on the internet? I was PO'd. <laughs> I can say PO'd. I was PO'd uh, because there was something that I did not want to see. Uh, I was really sucked in. I, did, I was probably sucked in harder to number five than any of them. I don't know that it's the scariest one, but in terms of what's going to happen next, man, I was feeling this vibe, and all of a sudden, to be continued. Let me tell you... I've got proof right here. I cried. I sure. literally cried at these three words. Yeah, and I was doing the same on the inside. Um, it's okay to cry, dudes. It's cool. <laughs> uh, you know, but yeah, to be continued. A and unlike the previous four, this one left on a massive cliffhanger. And before, you know, if you walked away and you didn't know, you had enough evidence and enough right. to go, you're, you're I good. can sleep at night. Number five does not end that way. I was PO'd. You know, right. Like you find this absolutely huge key component. I mean, there was even a point in the movie where we were like, here comes the three words. Mm -hmm. And it continued. And if it would have stopped at that point... I would have been bummed, but not PO'd like I was at the end of this movie. Yeah. Yeah, it was about 10 minutes before the actual to be continued, uh, where I was like, oh, they're going to stop it. And, and I was and mentally continue. prepared for it. And then I got really sucked in and then, like, ripping the rug right from out under me. Right. Terrible. It really bummed. All right. Blackwell Ghost, fifth edition, uh, version five, show five, episode five. Uh, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, whatever you want to call it. What's your overall rating? Um, I mean, there were third points where very it wasn't very high at all. But I think when it got up to its most scary parts, there were parts in there that easily were like a five for me. Okay. And that's including this part? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I don't know if I would rate it as high as a five in terms of skirt, 
I think it's probably still more around the four area for me, but the story was so much better and it was so rich and deep. I mean, in the third one, we talked to the serial killer's uh, son. In the second one, we talked to one of the victim's moms. This one, actually, we talked to a neighbor um, that was growing up next to the serial killer and uh, that played a pretty pivotal part. Like it's Absolutely. It was all coming together. He really was a key component in this. There was a map that we weren't really sure of, and he really just came in and filled us in. So in terms of skirt, yeah, uh, not real skirt. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it back down to like a four, but in, in natural story and entertainment value, this is high for me. Uh, one through five is actually pretty high for me. Uh, I would say entertaining one to ten. I, I call this a seven or an eight. Absolutely. I don't. I don't. I think there were points where I was, you know, starting to get bored, but then something huge would happen and I'd be sucked right back in. Yeah, so we'll do a uh, final cap on one through five. We'll throw it all in a playlist, and, and you can watch all these in one segment. We'll do an opener uh, and kind of our, our final thoughts, one through five. Uh, but with five specifically, would you recommend it, and would you recommend the entire series abroad? I would absolutely recommend this movie and you know to watch the fifth one which is the best one you really gotta watch the third one even just starting at the third one would help but I completely I absolutely love this series and I recommend every one of these movies yeah it's a good uh, pretty clean series not a lot of language uh, not a lot of you know super disturbing graphics blood uh, violence, anything like that, so you can get a little bit younger crowd that likes scares to watch it as well. Uh, pretty good series, I think, for everybody. Everybody can sit down and watch this, enjoy the uh, kind of murder mystery side to it, as well as the paranormal side to it. Uh, so yeah, definitely check it out. And do us a favor by going to youscurred.com, uh, clicking on the Blackwell Ghost 5, uh, and heading over to Amazon and buying it or renting it using our link. Uh, that helps us line the pocket and we can buy more Cheerios tomorrow. Uh, so we appreciate that. Don't forget, please hit the subscribe button. It's actually, I think, on this side. Uh, but we appreciate that as well. Uh, don't forget, hit the bell. That will actually give you notifications uh, as to when we post new content. And there will be a bunch of new content coming, including some of the scariest movies uh, I've ever seen that I'll be introducing Boo to. So look forward to those. Uh, anything else for the good of the order? You guys should just watch this movie. Yeah, watch the Blackwell Go series. Uh, it's a good series overall, and we're into it. So with that said, as always, I'm Exorcist. And I'm Boo. And we encourage you to sleep tight.